Hi, I'm Futong Chang, and welcome to the 2012 Chang Concrete Exchange Members Circle of Distinction Design Challenge. Congratulations to Best of Show winner Cody Carpenter of Architectural Concrete Interiors of Phoenix, Arizona. This entry won Best of Show, deservedly so. It was already enough to appreciate the massive and complex form building it took to create this site cast work in a restaurant. From the compound corner that looks like a reverse wave to the exquisite detail of the wrought iron bar that was tooled and the contrast between the slick surfaces and the delicate inlays to the ground finish. Then we saw some of the exquisite detailing that took place in a very, very simple way, but definitely worked with the environment it was in. It evoked the craftsmanship of an exquisite Spanish leather boot slipped into a hand-forged stirrup. Bold and ambitious, this was a clear winner. Congratulations to Best Outdoor Living winner, Dania Andrade of Ancuba in Rosalito, Mexico. This project won Best in the category because of its great shape and the great contrast of surface treatments from the ultra-polished top to the organic, almost earthy, undulating sides. This is a fire pit, but it's more of a fire shape, and it's something we all wanted to gather around. Congratulations to Best Bath winner Cody Carpenter of Architectural Concrete Interiors in Phoenix, Arizona. This modest bath won Best of Category because it surprised the judges with the attention to detail inside and out. For instance, on the inside, the tile on the backsplashes and on the walls of the shower actually echoed and mimicked the screened lattice work on the outdoor patio that you could see from the window of the shower. We love the stepped extension of the vanity sink counters and how they transformed from countertop into small footrest or bench. The great integral sinks came with this unusual drain detail of a drain guard made out of stainless steel. Overall, this shows how a small bathroom can have effective, compelling emotional content with great detailing and great sense of scale. Congratulations to Best Integral Sink winner Cody Carpenter of Architectural Concrete Interiors in Phoenix, Arizona. This exquisite little sink won Best of Category because of its use of deception. The element of surprise that one encounters with this perfect little slot that's in front of the sink makes one think that the water is going to spill onto the floor when actually it is spilling into a hidden drain. It's a beautiful use of fabric forming and using the capabilities of fabric forming to make a very sensuous looking piece uh, without all the requirements of extensive mold making. All in all, I felt that this piece was such a elegant solution to the problem of a small little sink in a small tight little area and bringing a lot of interest and scale and design right together all at once. Congratulations to Best Furniture winner Eve St. Hilaire of Sticks and Stones Furniture in British Columbia. This piece of furniture won in its category because it is just an incredible celebration of what simple elegance truly means. We were just sort of taken back about how simple it was really in its concept. Just a slab of concrete fused together with some wood, Douglas fir. Yet it was the attention to the grain patterns and the alternating grain of the wood, which obviously there was a great sensitivity to contrast that with the smooth, slick geocrete surface that he obtained with the concrete. This exquisite little piece of furniture took the judges by surprise and it almost elevated itself to the best of the show. Congratulations to Best Fireplace winner Cody Carpenter of Architectural Concrete Interiors in Phoenix, Arizona. Cody won Best of Category in Fireplaces because the judges felt that this fireplace had a great sense of proportion and a balance. 
He provided a metal smoke guard and a firebox that echoed the steel staircase in the background. We love the surface treatment where the imperfections in the sight cast uh, surfacing was celebrated rather than disguised. You have uh, striations, a little bit of uh, honeycombing, and uh, some hairline cracks here and there, but we felt that he understood that that added to rather than subtracted from the overall effect. In all in all, we just love the size of it and would love to gather around this fireplace. Congratulations to Best Commercial and Retail winner Sean Dunstan of Concrete Jungle in Singapore. This project won best of category because the judges saw how this sculptural fusion of massive concrete and wood gave a sense of drama that was necessary for a commercial installation. It has heft, mass, and form all coming together, celebrating this sort of high-tech equipment of coffee makers, etc. We felt that you'd feel good sipping your cup of coffee or wine and driving through it with your Harley Davidson. It just had this great quality of muscle and refinement. Congratulations to Best Sculpture winner, Kyle Pagman of Concrete Gallery Designs in Invermere, British Columbia. This beautiful sculpture won Best of Category because the judges felt that it transcended concrete entirely. It was just a piece of artwork that was comprised of concrete elements and one didn't look to the concrete for the art. It took the ability of concrete to mimic various textures and color and used it just as a painter would use a different color. And that's what impressed the judges. Congratulations to Best Interior Kitchen winner Eve St. Hilaire of Sticks and Stones Furniture in British Columbia. This kitchen won Best in Category because of an exquisite balance of materials. There's the farm style stainless steel sink and they took the trouble to make a custom drain board of stainless steel. And it really complements the dishwasher as well, which has a stainless steel face. Now all the cabinets are wood. They brought that special element of the walnut barrel and insert it in the countertop and raised it slightly, giving it a prominence that really puts that detail that makes this kitchen special. The colors all worked well together, and overall, it looks like a very practical kitchen and at the same time exudes this balanced quality of aesthetic. Congratulations to Best DFRC GFRC winner John Newbold of Newbold Stone Architectural Concrete in Austin, Texas. John Newbold won in this category because of the precision that he brought to a public art piece and he fully used the capabilities of the Chang DFRC concrete mix by casting corners that have no seams that are seamed in the center and he limited the number of seams by casting these large pieces which would ordinarily would be very unwieldy but with the DFRC he was able to take advantage of the thinness and the strength and use that to his best advantage. All in all, the judges were so impressed with the elegance, the simple elegance of this large water piece in a public setting. And we're also impressed with the subtlety of surface that he achieved with the DFRC. A congratulations to President Award winners Michael Pasquel of Pasquel Construction in Yuba City, California, and Paul Wood of Made by Wood in New York, New York. While the scale of this wall section is impressive to say the least, the details of this piece are what really make it stand out. Mr. Pasquale's technical mastery of concrete is evidenced by this project's successful interplay of forming technique, pigment variation, these casting striations, and these air voids. His ability to coordinate all these elements and produce this truly tasteful composition deserves applause. Paul Wood's project was chosen in this category for the concrete signage. It displayed a logo and it made this project really stand out. 
From a design perspective, the concrete was nicely showcased through the contrasting surface textures of the ultra-smooth, almost metal-like logo against the terrazzo-like finish of the background. The signage was extremely well-crafted and kept the logo tight and crisp, which is technically quite impressive. I'd like to give a special thanks to the judges who joined me this year. Jim Peterson, president of ConcreteNetwork.com, and Miranda Jones, style editor of Sunset Magazine. Additionally, I'd like to thank the sponsors of this year's design challenge, Interstar, Crete Molds, Sacrete, and Alpha Professional Tools. For more on this project and other design ideas, visit chengconcrete.com ideas.